Are you a college student grappling with the complexities of dating? Please like and subscribe as we dive deep into this one. Trust me, you're not alone. The college dating scene is like a never-ending episode of Survivor, where the challenges range from finding the right person to balancing a social life with academics. Let's begin with the quest for the one. It's like sifting through a sea of red solo cups at a frat party, hoping to find a glass of fine wine. Then comes the juggling act. You're trying to maintain a GPA that would make your parents proud while also trying to spend time with someone who makes your heart race faster than a caffeine-induced all-nighter. And let's not forget the heartbreaks. They hit harder than a pop quiz on a Monday morning. But hey, don't let these struggles intimidate you. After all, learning to navigate the dating world doesn't have to be as hard as your final exams. Uh, yo. Now let's talk about the do's of college dating. First and foremost, communication is key. Whether you're just starting to date someone or you've been together for a while, open and honest communication is essential. If you're feeling unsure about something, speak up. It's better to address issues as they arise rather than letting them fester. Next, let's discuss respect. This is a two-way street. Always treat your partner with the same respect you'd want in return. This means valuing their opinions, listening when they speak, and understanding their boundaries. Speaking of boundaries, it's vital to set them. Everyone has their own comfort zones and limits. Make sure you're clear about yours and respect your partners. This can range from how much time you spend together to physical intimacy. Now, on to balancing academics and relationships. Remember, you're in college to learn and grow. Your relationship should complement your academic journey, not hinder it. Think of it like this. You wouldn't let a part-time job take over your full-time studies, right? The same applies to dating. Let's illustrate this with an example. Imagine you have a big exam coming up, but your partner wants to spend time together. It's important to communicate your need to study and find a compromise that works for both of you. Remember, a good relationship should make your college life better, not worse. Just as importantly, let's discuss what not to do when dating in college. One common pitfall is neglecting academics. Remember, you're there to learn first, date second. It's a bit like eating dessert before your meal. It's fun at first, but you'll soon realize that you've skipped the important stuff. Next, don't lose your individuality. It's easy to start mirroring your partner's interests, but remember, they fell for you, not a carbon copy of themselves. It's like buying a painting, then deciding to paint over it with your own colors. Well, that's not exactly why you bought the painting, is it? Lastly, don't ignore red flags. They're named after a warning sign for a reason. If your partner's behavior is more suspenseful than the latest thriller, it might be time to reconsider. Avoid these pitfalls and your college dating experience could be as smooth as your favorite latte. To wrap things up, let's do a quick recap. Navigating the dating scene in college can be quite the challenge, but remember, the key is balance and communication. Do respect each other's space, be honest, and maintain healthy boundaries. Don't forget to prioritize your studies and avoid unnecessary drama. It's all about learning and growing, both academically and personally. Remember, college is a time for learning, and that includes learning about relationships. So go out there, date smartly, and most importantly, have fun. Take care. See you on the next one.